Right, you all wanted to know the recipe of my no baked chocolate balls, so I decided instead of sending you a boring email, I would show you how to do it by video. So here I am, and we have dates, any kind of dates, um, I would say about 25 dates um, that have been de-stoned, I'm de-stoning mine at the moment, um, or you can weigh them and I would say it's about 8 ounces of dates. And then you put them into the food processor, and then you take two ounces of cashew nuts, put them in the food processor, two ounces of desiccated coconut, preferably organic, put them in the food processor, and then you them all together. Right, now we put one teaspoon of coconut oil in there and one teaspoon of water. Just a teaspoon, that's all. And then you whip it back again, a bit more. And, uh, and then you're ready to make them all. That's it, it's done. Okay, so then we have a baking tray. And then you just take a little lump, you can come in closer, and you make them into balls. As big as you want, really. I like them about that size. This is a very healthy, vegan, dairy-free, wheat-free, sugar-free, everything-free, apart from delicious fruit and nuts, and it's really good. And I'll show you the next stage next time. All right, peeps? Here are the little balls, and they're all on a baking tray, and I'm just gonna put them in the freezer for about an hour, give or take, 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll get them out, and I'll show you in a minute. So I've just taken the balls out of the freezer, they're nice and cold, and I'm just gonna dip them in a melted chocolate. So this is 70% dark chocolate. Voila, no bake chocolate balls. And now I'm gonna put them in the fridge and eat them when I want to eat them. And they're ready, they're done, that's it. It's midnight and I need a fix. I'm gonna have one of these chocolate no bake balls because they're blinking delicious. Night. <laughs>